Here's the answer. The process of filling out the table was rather mechanical, so I won't walk through that step. We end up with a cost of 3.5, so that must have come from this neighbor here, which also has a value of 3.5. Diagonal steps like this correspond to matching the two letters, so we write down that alignment here. Next, we have 3.5, which could have come from either of these two neighbors here. Let's choose this one for now. That corresponds to leaving W unmatched, so we'll write that down in our alignment. Next, we have a cost of 2.5, which must have come from this northwest neighbor here, who has a cost 1. And that corresponds to matching these two characters together, O and N. Then we have a cost 1, which must have come from this northwest neighbor, so these Ns get matched. Again, we have a cost of 1, and since U doesn't match S, this must have come from the west neighbor, meaning that U is left unmatched. And we can write that down like so. And lastly, the S's must be matched together. Often there will be more than one path through the grid. In this example, there was some ambiguity at this step here. Instead of skipping W, I could have matched it with N, and then we could have left the O unmatched. And that would have left us with this alignment here, which has the same minimum cost.